Hello everyone, my name is Heather and this is my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be showing you some quick tips, tricks, and hacks if you will in how to find the best results, easiest results, and quickest results from Google searches. If you don't know, Google is going to give you the best results for free items. In another video, I'm going to show you Google Scholar, where you can get more research-based materials. But if you're doing a search in Google, fantastic place. Love it. Use it all the time. But Google is going to give you free information. It is the best location to find free resources, all in one fell swoop. Remember that Google is free. And so that's where you're going to find that information. So if you're looking at a Google search, and in every video that I do, I am going to search for the same keywords. I am always going to look for teens and politics. So let's say that I'm looking for teens and politics. So if I just did a search for teens and politics, I'm going to get over 58 million results. Anywhere between teens and disillusioned teens about politics, why do teens not care about politics, which you know is not true, are teens interested in politics, going on and on and on, pages upon pages upon pages, youth political issues, so on and so forth. But what if I added teens and politics and the word or social media? So what I've done here using and or or is what we in librarianship, which is my field, is what we call a Boolean search. We've added and, which includes those terms, teens and politics, or social media, which means now I'm looking for teens and politics or social media, and it's going to combine all of those terms. So when I look for those items, it brings us down to arousing 35 million, which is not great, but now we're going to find information about politics, teens, as well as social media. So you're going to find that type of information bringing that in. Now you may be sitting there going, yeah, already knew this. Great. That means you already know about how to combine and divide your terms. Think about it like adding or subtracting in your searching. But now I'm going to take out teens, politics, and I'm going to remove the or social media. So what if I put quotes around it? Now I'm looking for teens and politics. And the moment you put quotes around a search, it's looking for just those words, teens and politics. Now this brings us down immediately to 399,000. Now I know that you don't want to spend your Saturday night scrolling through 399,000 of anything, but now this means immediately we've scrolled down to teens and politics only looking for those words. So if I were specifically looking for a title of a book, a title of an article, only that one thing, if I put it in quotes, it's only going to look for those exact words. So now you can see teens and politics, teens and politics, teens and politics, again and again. It's going to show up again and again, specifically using those terms over and over and over. So do teens and politics mix, teens and politics tips, all of those types of things. If you add quotes, it's going to change the nature of what it is you're searching for. And if I put in teens and politics in America, now I have no results. It actually says there are no results found at all for teens and politics in America. So now I've actually gotten to a search result of zero and I didn't even misspell anything. And so what this means is, is now it's decided for me that it's going to give me the results of what it looks like without the quotes. And so just a few different tips and tricks things to look at and ways to one, narrow down your search in Google, ways to play around with searches in Google. And this is only a few different things adding in and or quotes along those lines. There are many others that I will share with you in future videos. If you like this one, like it, subscribe it, share it with your friends, and keep your eyes open for more videos to come. Thanks so much. Have a great day.